Welcome back to A Simple Word. I'm Father David Sanji, and here to reflect with you on the Gospel for the coming Sunday. In this fourth Sunday in Ordinary Time, we look at Jesus Christ, and he's just called all of his new disciples, and he's beginning his ministry. And the first thing that he does is he goes to this synagogue in Capernaum, and uh, there he speaks to the people. And when he did this, they were so astonished at his teaching, and they began to speak about him. They say, well, this this man has authority. He speaks with authority, not like the scribes do. And what they're referring to there is that in this time, the scribes, when they would preach about the word, they would always reference back Moses and the other prophets. They would always speak about what had been taught them. And uh, it was a word that had been given to them, and they were hearkening back to its history. But Jesus was speaking as someone who was talking about what was happening now. And uh, everything was in continuity with the prophets. But what was happening in him was different. The Word of God, everything that had been promised in the Old Testament, was being fulfilled. And then in the synagogue, there was a man with an unclean spirit who began to cry out, what do you have to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? And he says, I know who you are, the Holy One of God. In other words, he too recognizes this authority, and he goes even further than the people do. Uh, not only does he see that uh, this person has authority, that this, this demon, but it knows that this is the Son of God, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebukes him and says, come out of him. And the Spirit came out, and everybody was amazed. They were saying, what is this? A new teaching with authority. And then they were also impressed that he could command these unclean spirits, and they would listen to him. So as you prepare to listen to this gospel this, this coming Sunday, here's what you're going to hear. A new teaching it's so important every time we listen to the scriptures to be ready to hear something that's new. Often we think uh, this is a story of Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago. Perhaps he's referring to the prophets thousands of years before that. But every time we hear the word of God, it's new. And this, this authority refers to the fact that every time we hear the word of God announced on a Sunday, it's being announced by, by the Holy Spirit himself. And uh, when Christ speaks, the unclean spirits obey him. And what's so interesting is that God had promised that he would do this. You're going to hear in the reading from Deuteronomy. <clears throat> Moses is speaking to the people, and uh, he's telling them that uh, a prophet like him the Lord will send, that God would raise up a prophet like him from among their own kin, their own people. And he says, and you shall listen to him. Now, this is not just saying, <clears throat> when the new prophet comes, you better listen to him. What it's saying is, there's someone who's coming who you will listen to, this person that, that speaks with authority. And he says that God is doing this because when they were listening to God on Mount Horeb, they were sort of afraid. They heard the word of God and this thunder and everything. And they said, uh, we, we don't want to hear the voice of the Lord, our God, uh, or, or experiences this thunder, this fire, because we don't want to die. They were afraid that if they heard God speak, they would die. But when Jesus Christ came, and this is uh, just, we're getting past uh, the celebration of Christmas, the Incarnation. When Jesus Christ came, <clears throat> he came in such humility. And he came with power, and yet, as had been promised, now we can listen and not die. In other words, we can be close to God and not being worried about being destroyed. I invite you to be ready to hear a new teaching, but also to hear 
the authority of, of the scriptures that are going to be pronounced to you. As you listen to them, uh, don't just listen to a story being told about how the people were listening to Jesus and the, the spirit came, evil spirit came and he cast him out. Listen to Christ that he can speak a word because he can also say a word to you with authority. <clears throat> and the best part about it is that the unclean spirits obey him. It's very important. How do evil spirits obey Jesus in this case? They leave. They leave. This, this is what we need. So often we think when we hear evil in the world, and it's all around us, we turn on the TV, we, we just anywhere we go, we see so many things that can discourage us. And so many people are worried that, that the evil is, is in control in so many ways. But Jesus Christ is Lord, and when He speaks, the spirits have to leave. Uh, whenever we go to confession, the evil that is within us has to go away. Uh, every time we, we turn to Jesus Christ and announce His name, when we bring any evil to the light, the evil needs to go away and Christ remains. So, in the responsorial psalm, you're going to be saying, If today you hear His voice, Harden not your hearts. This is an invitation as you listen to this gospel that you not harden your hearts. Uh, we don't do this on purpose. It's rather, uh, maybe we, maybe we would say we close our ears. Uh, we don't open ourselves to it. I invite you to listen to this word and hear what is being proclaimed by Jesus Christ. A word with authority and the ability to take any evil spirit and quiet it. I pray that you have a great Sunday celebrating this gospel. I hope that you enjoyed listening to this presentation on a simple word. And if you liked it, please click like. Thank you very much.